And when Blondie heard what was going on, you know how they was running with her name, she that's why she put out that one hour and some change statement. And this is what she had, the different things that she had to say. I still don't have a name. My name is not even Mang, it's just trash. You guys trash my name for no reason. I work for this community. I represent my people. I represent my country. What have I done, Haitian people? What have I done that is so wrong? What is so wrong? Thank you. I want peace. I want my peace. I want peace for my people. I want peace from you guys. Leave me alone. Stop. I don't know how to, I don't know what to do with this situation anymore. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Ça me pas comprendre. Comment mon chita y a pas accusé petit tout le monde. Y a pas accusé. Y a fait petite les menaces. They're coming for my children. They're coming for me. They're threatening my life. And you sit there with your black sunglasses, still acting like an innocent, knowing that I had nothing to do with it. You sat there smiling after that live saying i think they they bought it i think they swallowed it i think they believed me under your black sunglasses what about me let's put the beef aside let's put all the differences aside what about my children what about me when you have a promoter threatening my life for something I didn't do, for something you created, for something you planned for days. You planned the whole thing. And you sat there letting them coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. Que c'est moi qui fais complot. C'est moi qui paye 10 000 dollars. Moi qui paye Cool G. Erwin, paye Erwin even coming with fake screenshots of payments. And the media, media, nous courir avec histoire ça. Nous quel? Nous anticiper histoire. Nous vendre histoire. Without asking. So, let me ask you guys something. Laissez toute attaque ça qui a fait sur moi parce que moi boycotte. Moi boycotte, moi gain pouvoir, femme pouvoir. Femme qui gain plus pouvoir dans Eche Maila. Li boycotte en haute performance qui a plein, qui l'argent dépensé. Puis l'argent dépensé, puis il dépense fait, moun pas même touché à faire des penses pour le festival là. On dit me te gain pouvoir ça pour me camper en performance. Some way or another, I'm a superwoman. Yes, je suis la femme chat. So you just heard the different things that Blondie had to say concerning this whole debacle situation that happened. And you can tell that it really, really got to her. You know, what went down because it was like, you know, I'm all the way over here. I'm not even in uh, involved in this festival why y'all bringing me up in this thing and then y'all involve my children i'm getting threats why and it's it reminds me of a quote that tony gaskins i've heard tony gaskins say i'm not sure who actually wrote the quote it, i think it says john wooden but i'm not sure but don't let praise or criticism change you and you can tell the praise and the criticism have gotten to these both of these young ladies but even with Florence, who was like, oh, you know, I'm coming with um, uh, on the show. You be supposed to get a better treatment. Okay, just because you on a show, that means you're supposed to get a better treatment. But you're supposed to get some type of special treatment more than anybody else. Because at the end of the day, you were not even on the flyer. You were not, so you were not planned. So they probably may, may, they may 
or may have not revised the actual program. So you probably wasn't even included in the program. So they was trying to fit you in. That's probably why it kept on, you know, going over, uh, uh, over you. So in that situation, you guys should have been more understand the more understanding they hey they squeeze us in we need to be more patient instead of running up on the stage because somebody told you hey if you don't go up you won't be able to perform because you know you had to perform because you ready you bring all these people behind you so you had to perform and you had to do a show and you could say yeah you didn't do it for a storyline this was for a storyline because vh them camera crew from vh1 from this show is not going to follow you just for that it has to be a re a, those show these reality shows that's all they about is drama that's what makes people tune into them because of the drama that's in them we all know as haitian people haitian people their stuff you know be having some issues and they have we have some issues in between us but that stays in the community that stays within us. But now you put it out there for the world to know what goes on in the community. But you for the community, right? You for the community. And then this in, empowerment thing, this, oh, I got you. We need to help women. We need to empower women. We need to stick together. That's not true at all. You better be careful with some of these girls, some of these women, some of these women, not all of them. But even with the Blondie situation, oh, I'm, uh, um, I'm your mom. Yes, yes, you was the one who gave her the bus. Yes, nobody could never, t uh, uh, um, won't ever say that because of you, because, you know, she was associated with you. That's how she got a bus. That's how people begin to know her. But don't God use people to make a way for people? Don't God use people to open doors for people? Don't God use people to, to uh, um, speak on, on, on a person's behalf? To vouch for somebody god that's what god does he uses people because we as humans we are inherently selfish we don't want to do stuff for other people we want to do it for ourselves but when god some people god have to touch your heart to say hey look out for this person bless this person make a way for this person vouch for this person sometimes when we do this the person is is grateful or whatever most of the time they're not but that's for God. That's between the person and God. That's between. So we can't let stuff like that get, uh, um, you know, big our head, get our head so big. And, and, and yes, you were used to, you were used to give her a buzz. And then because of her work, she put in the work also. It could, she continued that buzz. She, she rode that wave, that buzz wave. And this is where she uh, are today. Ain't nobody taken away from that you, 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 yes, you did make away from her, but she had to put in the work also. She also had to put in the work. So, and it's when, you know, people like they open the door for you, they vouch for you. It's like some, it's like when something happened between you and the, especially women, they have to pop that back in your face. Oh, remember? Yeah. You remember I did this for you. Remember it was me. Then you didn't do it with all your heart. You didn't do it uh, with all you did it for what for some cloud. And a lot of times we experience these things because we are holding on to seasonal people. We have seasonal people in our lives. The person was supposed to be in your life for one season, two seasons, three seasons to show you something that you didn't know for you to open the door for them, for you to vouch for them, for you to show them something. But you held on to them. You held on to them. And then that's why so a lot of times you guys break up. Uh, uh, um, you guys have this big, nasty, ugly falling out because you guys are holding on to seasonal people. Some people, is, it's not even season. Some people, you just were supposed to open a door for them, do, do some, and then, get, uh, then move, keep it going. But then you guys hold on to things, hold on to these um, relationships that you were supposed to have been let go. And then this is what happened. And sometimes you do it for the wrong people, people who you're supposed to do it for. You don't do it for. And then that's how you get, you know, you get what you the things that you've gotten, you know, the, the betrayal, the backlash, the gossiping, the backbiting, the stabbing in the back. That's what happens. I mean, and then. It's like 
you guys can't even be on one stage because you guys are beefing because you see the f festival reached out to Blondie first to host it. She didn't, she, uh, uh, um, Florence was never on the original fly, as I said before. So it was at the last minute they, they invited you at the last minute because everybody know you guys don't like each other. I mean, you guys are making great strides, doing all kind of big moves, and uh, um, all, and then you guys can't even sit, you can't sit amicably in one place together without something happening. Now, it's 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 a bunch of foolishness. Cause just like she say, um, allegedly Florence is behind different things that is happening to her students because. Blondie is very, 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 very gifted in business. And if that is true, why are you trying to block her? You, what, what is for you is for you. What is what is for Florence is for Florence. What is for Blondie is for Blondie. You can't take that from each other. Because you could block the person, uh, um, the person will find someplace else. God will make another way for that person. And most of the time... I don't, I'm not saying Blondie don't do her stuff. She do, she do her stuff. But most of the time, it's like a tick for tack. Since you did this to me, I'm going to do this for you, to you. But sometimes for me, in my opinion, it's like um, Florence does a lot of things against Blondie through jealousy because of jealousy. It's the jealousy. You're successful. You have your own thing going on. She has her own thing. You may not like each other. But why we can't respect each other? We don't have to like everybody, but we should all respect one another. And that is what's lacking here. And Blondie also uh, um, crying. Yes, that's uh, um, people maybe clowning us, say, oh, she's crying. Look at her crying on thing. At least that show you're still human. You, you know, things like that still affect you. But sometimes you have to realize this is the price of fame. This is the price of being popular. People will say things against you that may or may not be true. Or they may, it may be true, but they exaggerate it. That is the price of fame. That is the price of fame. And sometimes when you see things like that getting to you, that is the time to step back and reset. Cut off all social medias. Cut off everything. Not only just go to uh, uh, um, vacation, uh, but I mean, unplug yourself to reset yourself because too much criticism, too much praise, that affects you, especially if you're feeding into it. You have all kind of people that true. There's so many people that really, really rock with these, um, both of these ladies. I mean, like seriously. But sometimes we focus more on the negative, more of the negative, the people that don't like us or whatever. Yeah, we appreciate um, the people that like us, but we, it's like we put more energy in people and negative things. Focus on the people that like you, that love you, that follow you, that support you in everything that you do. Yeah, there's things that are being done underneath, underhanded to block you, but as you say, you always overcome them. Yes, they may frustrate you. They may get you angry, but you have always overcome them. We go back and reminisce and say, hey, I went over this. I got over that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get over this. And then when I first saw the video of Florence and her husband, I was like, they had... They had like a death in the family because they both of them with the sunglasses. And then she was telling people, was calling her saying courage. Because usually they tell people courage. When you lost, I was like, that was kind of confused. I was like, somebody, there was a death. It was, it was, it was like too much. And it, at the end of the day, when you look at it, this was, when you really look at, in my opinion, when you really look at this, this was for the uh, uh, storyline. But hey, why bring this young lady? Yeah, you you guys, you know how to be for whatever. But why? Uh, 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 um, even though if you did not start the rumor, but you did not specifically address it and say you guys need to stop. I heard this rumor is going around that you know this person and name the person named Blondie is behind this. Um, she 
I have no evidence to show that she is behind this. So please stop it. You did not do that once. You just rolled. Since that rumor going on, you just uh, use that to your advantage. Talking about they set you up. Set you up where? You wasn't even on. How they set you up? You was not even on the original flyer. That means you probably wasn't on the program because they probably didn't have a chance to revise it. Because if they, hey, if they made the program, they already sat down doing They probably didn't have no time to go over it again. They just was going to, uh, uh, um, you know, stick you in some place. But, you know, other people who probably is on the program who needed to leave, who wanted to perform and go, they was like, hey, huh, she ain't going before me. So why not address those people? But you, this, uh, uh, not address those people also. And clarify this rumor hey this young lady had nothing to do to do with this they had nothing nothing to do with this because you say you guys say oh this is not a propaganda for the show it seems that was because you didn't address the rumor you did not address the rumor that um blondie was behind this thing or she paid ten thousand dollars for for you did not specifically address it you just ran with it. You just rode the rave. Oh, you guys want to say that's the shield? I'm not going to say nothing. I would have respected you more, like I said before, if she had did that. But she did not do that. She's using this to her advantage. Now you're involving the ki her kids. I don't know uh, 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 how something like this get for kids to be in, for people kids to be involved in this. It don't make no sense. This don't make no sense at all. And I, cause I remember with this show, there was also, there was a young lady who was of Haitian descent who was on the show and allegedly she was not invited back because they say she was too boring. So that's what I, that's what was said. So with this, especially with, Love and hip hop on this reality show, you have to have a level of drama. If not, nobody, ain't nobody checking for you. You know, they probably not gonna invite you for another season, or they probably not gonna, you know, follow you as much. So, yeah, if when people say if this was a propaganda, yeah, when you look at everything, you put everything in, in perspective, put everything on the front line, yes, it seems that like it was a propaganda. And then now is an image of, hey, and then you come up on the stage with the, the Haitian flag in your hand, pulling mics. I mean, it don't make no sense. Oh, they didn't, they didn't respect the, the, the flag that was in my, you did not respect the flag that was in your hand because you was going to pull, the, the guy didn't pull the mic from you, the guy didn't push you or whatever it may be. You pulled the mic from the man. So you did not respect the flag that was in your hand. And you say that, oh, you didn't come to make trouble, but you guys did because somebody told you guys that, hey, if you guys don't get up there, you guys not going to perform. So you went on what somebody said and then went on the stage when you wasn't supposed to be on the stage. So that is causing trouble. I mean, when are we going to take responsibility for the choices that we've made? For the things that the actions that we have done that have caused certain circumstances, certain things to happen. When people gonna take responsibility? You didn't really know if you weren't gonna perform, if you wasn't gonna perform. Somebody said. So you went on what somebody said, and this is what this is how all this um started. Somebody said. Oh, oh they set you up. Then you pull in uh, 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 on this young lady it, in it that had nothing to do with it to to do with it just so you could create a drama for the show for the love and hip-hop i guess we'll have to watch well y'all gonna watch it cause i'm not gonna watch i don't watch reality tv but i'm sure we'll see how this turns out on the show or maybe i'll watch it when somebody says that it's on that thing on that episode then i'll watch it to see but anyway, that's all I had to say on this situation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.